Yo, 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 what is going on, IK Familia? It is your boy, BN, a.k.a. Mr. Kingdom Builder. We are back again for another just fantastico Infinity Kingdom video. We're going to be continuing our most used talk skill series today with our fourth Fire Immortal, William the First. As always, before we start, make sure you guys sub to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and as usual, make sure you ring that notification bell to get updates when we have new content coming out. Okay, here we go. William the First, thankfully with William, similar to what we saw from Ashoka and Empress Wu, uh, though, well, I should say a little more Empress Wu, uh, because we ended up having to go up to S14 to get some data from William, similar to Wu, uh, but thankfully not having to go too high. For the thresholds that we pull from, 160k troop power minimum, as they have to be your main march, in this case your main fire march, we do allow for three immortals plus the same elemental dragon to be the minimum, which basically means you are allotted one flex immortal pick for us to pull the data from. Thankfully, the majority of these data points are all pulled from four of the same elements, well, I should say element, uh, but from all basically four fire immortals plus the same elemental dragon. Okay, without further ado, let us dive in, rounding out William here for the number three most used talk skill is Berserk. And you know what, now that I'm thinking about this, I need to look at this skill real quick here. Am I... Okay, good. I mean, I was why why was I thinking it started with an S instead of an R? Everyone's like, "What is Boss doing?" Okay, we're keeping it in. Berserk being used twelve times. Number two most used skill is Cleave, being used a total of thirteen times. Now we have the number one most used talk skill on William the First is Fighting Will. Nineteen, so a nice little plus six bump up there. Uh, this kind of rounds out our top three most used talk skills. Now let's go ahead and look in-game. Here we go for William. As always, we start off with the skill, active, we look at the stats, and then we'll take a look at the top three most used skills, and then look at our, and then I'll give you my thoughts on them each. Skyfire inflicts physical damage on the enemy targets directly ahead at a damage rate of 135 up to 450 in a row. and increases the crit rate of all your troops by 12% up to 20% for six seconds. Okay, now let's look at stats. Strength almost doubling intelligence here, where physical attack 4 away, and you even see physical defense here beating out magical defense, which in some other cases we don't usually see that. It's typically the opposite stat on the defense side that beats out the physical stat on one side. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the most used talk skills. Here we go. Starting with number three, we're going to look at Berserk. Increases the attack speed of all your units by 3%, up to 10%, and restores a small amount of HP, 9%, up to 30% for that rate with every successful normal attack. It's an aura skill, so you can only equip one of these on each immortal. Okay. I actually think Berserk plays well. Here into William, again, the idea is to try and get more of his skills off. I mean, when I look at William... Just with the fact that he can buff crit chances for the Immortals, I would think that I would want to try and get William's skill proc'd as much as I possibly can, just to increase and to have a constant crit rate almost going 24-7, or as close to, as you can get it, right? That's kind of the, the hope there, um, along with the fact that it just gives you an additional recovery rate. So not only are you getting a faster attack speed, uh, your Immortals are getting a little bit of lifesteal, drain or vampirism effect and you have the chance of immortals like hippolyta and william getting their skills off more often i mean again i think that's a win uh, for berserk okay now let's look at cleave cleave every normal attack has a 75 percent chance of causing extra physical damage to two nearby enemies now again keep in mind you don't really have a high chance of putting this on someone specific right so you might consider putting them on someone that has a higher attack speed uh, again or if you're running a skill that has increased attack speed on someone uh, again right not everyone's going to be like an alexander where they have increased attack speed that they get just from their main skill but if you're running any specific or individual attack speed type skills right because keep in mind with berserk it's it's passive for all of your troops so you could run this more so on someone that has increased attack speed again if you don't then again i think it's fine 
uh, to run regardless. Again, I think Cleave is still a really good universal skill. Okay, Fighting Will is the last one here. That's our Super Saiyan Goku. Every 20% of the number of soldiers will deal physical damage to all enemies and has a 13.5% chance. Now, keep in mind, when you're running the skill, you're trying to run it off of someone who has a high physical strength or damage stat. Right, so again, because this is proccing now, from what we understand, skills will proc off the amount of total troops that you have, um, and then uh, scaling from that off of your physical stats, right? In this case, right, you would imagine with physical damage, that's probably going to go into your strength stat or your physical attack. So trying to go with someone or putting the skill on someone that has a high number for that is going to be more ideal. Um, and fighting will, obviously, the chance to root, as we've talked about, this is being ran consistently, um, even when we talked about this in Hippolyta. I think fighting will is just a good universal skill um, to be ran as well. So that pretty much rounds out our William the First. Let me know, as always, what do you guys think in those comments down below? Do you like these top three most used talk skills? Do you prefer running three different sets? Are there any substitutions that you think you would personally make? Why? Let me know what you guys think down there. That is it for me until we end up coming out with Frederick and then possibly Cyrus. I think Frederick is more likely. Uh, Cyrus, we'll have to see on how many pools we end up or how many data points we can find for him. Um, I imagine he's going to be a little bit closer to the other challenges we were having uh, with the previous Immortal. But that's it for us. Until next time, we'll catch you later.